Well, welcome back to Makings. I don't know why, but every time I come here, it's lovely and sunny. It's February. And if you've been following the story so far, you will know that there's been a lot of work being taking place here at phase three or on phase three of this fantastic complex. We've got another vehicle that's turned up. That is the delivery of some more fish. Now, for those people, just a quick update for you. Behind me is the lake known as Seven. I actually got the chance to fish this yesterday and that is a session video so if you want to see that video i'll put a direct link to that video at the end of this one so you can see me actually fishing i ended up down on peg two down there when half the lake was frozen however i did have a lovely day's fishing so i'll put a link to that at the end of the video this is avon it's starting to fill up now from our first visit it's gone up about must have gone up a couple of feet now it is still coming in at that top end you can just see it come filtering in from the next lake so this is just about at its maximum level and the next lake along which we're going over to now is Thames Lake now that's the one that is still currently filling up at the moment and the fish that are here today I've been told Andy Pell the fishery manager can go into detail and tell us what's actually here but I believe these are all carp and they are going to be going into here into Avon and into Thames as well at the back and that i think is just about going to be completing the stocking phase of these two lakes that just leaves a couple more lakes at the back there is anchor over there and derwent and anchor is a little bit more of a silverfish water and that is going to be receiving a stocking of silverfish over the next few days on this far bank of avon you can see now how these banks have uh, been landscaped all that undercut bank and everything that i showed you in the first video in this series the undercut banks have gone and this is obviously they've got numbers here i'm assuming that's where the peg numbers are going to be when the permanent pegs get put in i'm guessing that's what it is i'm not 100 sure it must be i think um and it's starting to fill up now it's almost at its maximum i think so the lads are over there now they're just reversing the uh, the vehicle down with the tanks in that's got the fish in we've got three lads here Andy pell's there as well as you can see the water still coming in here on avon so that's still topping up and Thames looks very different from last time we were here last time we were here I believe I stood about here with Andy and this was empty there wasn't anything there so this was a peg where there wasn't any water but you can see all the landscaping of this in the previous video that's filled up quite quickly and you could see this really flat margin what they created on this lake so all these margins have got a nice level platform or a nice level bit of bank to fish on so it looks like the vehicle's just about in place i think it's all carp what's coming and i think these are just going to be split between these two lakes so let's go and catch up with the lads and find out to find out what fish we've got and which exact lakes that they're going in there's wayne we need his muscles for this one and he's going to be grafting as well so we've got a digger here this is obviously where they've been doing it a lot of the banks and stuff that's just about finished you can see that bank now how that water's risen up those cages that they've put in to reinforce that bank the next job now is to, to just kind of put some drainage in on that bank it's just to try and dry it off a little bit just get some of that water off it then they can plant some seed in there that'll be ideal there'll be a path all the way along there where they can you, you know push your barrow looks like they're just putting a hard platform down there one of these just so it's a little bit more a little bit more um, firm and solid for them when they're going to be putting these fish into this it's slightly deeper margin here actually where these uh, where the cages are so there's a bit of depth there and uh, yeah it's filling up nicely this lake now looks so much better without the ice on it as well well the trailer's in place now here with andy fishing fishing manager what we've got coming andy what's hey, in here so we've got two thousand pound a yeah, carp no, between two and three there, pounds so, today yeah. fantastic yeah. are they a mixture of carp they are a mixture, yeah. Yeah. Bit of everything, really. Commons and mirrors. Mainly mirrors, I'd say. Okay. And um, what kind of split? Is it going to be split between which two? These two lakes? Yeah. So what he's done, he's got a thousand pound in each tank. Yep. And literally going to put a thousand pound into Avon and a thousand pound into Thames. Right. Just a nice easy split. Nice easy split. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, best way of getting these in today is going to be what you stand balling them, are you? We're, yeah. We're using nets. nets um, just like before. Yeah, like purse nets. Yeah. And we're just going to pop them straight in. Going in this side first. Yeah. Perfect. So it's a nice even split. A thousand nice pound in Thames. That's it. And a thousand in Avon. 
Wayne's got the first batch. Let's have a look at these. Oh yes, look at them. Fantastic mate, look at them. Beautiful. Ready for the shite? Yeah. They have beautiful stamp already, aren't they them? Still tempting me to get the kit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. It does make you want to go, doesn't it? So that is £2,000 of fish going in, £1,000 in there and £1,000 in Avon. Now these are pretty much new lakes whilst they are established. They're classed as new lakes, you know, all the silt's been taken out. And putting fish in a lake like this is by no means the end of it. There are things that the management team here will be doing to maintain the health of this lake, which will inevitably hopefully look after the health of the fish. So. We're just going to quickly have a word with Andy just to find out what he will be doing to maintain this lake and how he can improve and maintain the fish health. What kind of things are you going to be doing then? You know, on a lake like this, this is probably classed as a, a new lake now, I suppose. What kind of things can you do to uh, to maintain the health of it? So the plan is each each winter, as we're coming out of winter, now we're down to the clay in the lake. Yeah. We want to keep that. We want to stop that from building back up. So we're going to sort of chalk the lakes sort of February time as you're coming out of winter and obviously that helps to keep the silt down uh, and compresses the silt and it creates like a, a pH level in the water and it, it creates a nice environment for the fish coming out of winter uh, keeps them nice and healthy and, and also just like I say stops all that uh, silt building building back up after the, the leaves go in in the, in the autumn etc and it's just about maintaining that it doesn't really work I don't think that well on quite deep areas of silt but now we've taken the silt out it's all clay we're going to keep on top of it and keep the maintenance every year do the same thing to keep it nice so we don't have to dig it out again got you i've got to ask you this i've just overheard a conversation that you've just had uh, with uh, with the guy who's just delivered the fish what kind of quantities of when you're doing that is there is there like a formula so much per acre or how, yeah it, how do is, you work it? it comes in um i think it's a ton per acre it comes in bags and basically Put it over the back of a boat, go around in the boat, slice the bags, and distribute it evenly throughout the, the lake. So it's, it's not a hard job to do, it's probably a messy job. I've seen other fisheries, <laughs> it looks like they've been in a, in a flower room, but it, it's an important part of maintaining the fishery and looking after the fish. So that's, that's the plans going forward. So next coming out of next winter, that's what we'll do on these lakes which have been dug out. Look at them beauties. Lovely, ain't they? they are. Some of them a bit bigger, aren't they? Fantastic, they're all green. These platforms are going to get replaced, by the way. They're the old original platforms. They will be getting changed. And for the eagle-eyed ones amongst you, we'll probably, or probably not, notice that last time we were here, something's gone. They've done away with the bridge. This is the peg here, where the bridge was, the footbridge that used to take you over onto the island. They've done away with that now. So that island now is completely isolated. Um, basically because they don't really need to get constant access to that island. And the other thing as well is one of the things that Andy, the fishery manager, is keen to promote. Just have a look at those. Yeah, lovely. He's a big one. Yeah. He's a big one, that one. One of the things that Andy Pell is really keen to promote as well on this whole site, not only here, is, is wildlife, you know. As you can imagine, through the summer months, the ducks and things and, and, and the birds are gonna be nesting over there. The bridge was giving access to foxes and things to go over there. So I think, you know, by taking the bridge away, it's obviously gonna give that, make it a little bit more of a, uh, an isolated environment for, for bird and wildlife, which I think is a, a really nice aspect. Let's have a look at those, still on the first tank. Look at that lot. Fantastic damn isn't it, mate? Lovely, aren't they? So this is not the easiest way of transporting fish, but it is by far the kindest, isn't it? Yeah, well it's, yeah we've, we've got this transport tank, not only coarse fish, it's also for trout as well. So we've got, on the other side, you've got shoots to, to allow the fish out. Got you. Without overhandling them, stressing them and bits and bobs. But coarse fish, you just tend to be a bit kinder to them. Yeah, yeah. Just scooping them there. Scooping them there, yeah. What sort of age are these fish? These you know? two-year-olds. These two some old. of the best two-year-olds, yeah. Old? Yeah. Plenty more in there to go in. <laughs> These are 1,100 litre tanks. You can nearly get 2,000 pound weight in each tank. Wow, it's, uh, it's not, isn't it? There's not a lot of water left by the end of it. No, I bet. <laughs> 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 
these have actually come from Lincolnshire Carp Farm so they've obviously driven from Lincolnshire this morning and they're obviously experts in in stocking fisheries like this and this is pretty much going to complement this lake so once the water level reaches its its normal level or its finished level then this will be finished and ready for opening I was just going to reduce the water level and make the remainder of the fish in this tank easier to net. It's about to get a little bit muddier down here, I think. How about that? You think someone had a bad day on a pole? <laughs> get that for a top kit. You'd better to pack that one away nicely, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a thousand pound that's gone in Thames. And we're now on this second tank now that's got another thousand pound of fish in. And these are now going into into seven which is almost at just about the maximum level now the maximum depth this bank's still a bit wet where they've been working on it but we know we've got these big solid cages under here full of rocks and they're going in there quite a deep margin just there if you saw the previous film you'll have seen that these cages are quite high you know so there's a bit of a deeper margin here but they've done a fantastic job with this wall it runs right the way along there now right the way around back behind Behind about peg four, which is where I fished on, on Seven Lake. Yeah. So the remaining of these, these thousand are now going to be going in here in Avon. Job done. Job done. So, thank you to everybody who's followed this journey so far for this phase. This phase isn't quite finished. There is still going to be work taking place on here. And just going to have a quick word with Andy, just find out what they've just got to do to finish it off. And I know lots of people have been asking, when is it going to be open? Let's find out from Andy. So Andy, I know you've done so much. You've still got some work to do. What kind of things have you just got to do to finish off this phase? So the main jobs now are putting the pegs in place. Okay. We've got the pegs, we need to trim the legs, bolt them all together. They've all been laser leveled, so they'll all be the same level. We don't want pegs up and down, uh, etc. We've got the planting to do, tidy up. We've got planting on the island. We're gonna put some trees in, some reeds, hopefully, irises, grass seed the place. And it's just about tidying it up, really, and getting it ready. We've got a toilet block to put in and it's it's mainly snaggy bits now the, the lakes have desilted fish are in there most of the fish are in there already and now it's tidying up and making it look nice brilliant i mean th these first two lakes we've kind of covered in in a bit of detail these two lakes over on your left thames has still got as they still got some fish to go in and anchor you've got a little bit more work to do haven't you yes that was the bird scare by the, the bird way scare, that, <laughs> that scared me as well <laughs> So we've got a thousand pound of carp just gone into Thames. We've got silvers to put in. We've got more carp to put in. We've got some carp to come out of Anchor, which will probably go into Thames because it's nice and easy. And then we've got silvers. That's going to be a silverfish lake. So we've got silvers to distribute into that lake. Brilliant. Anchor is the one that's like a canal, isn't it? That's it, yeah. And just to finish off, Derwent, some people have asked about. Derwent is the one right at the back over there. Are you going to be doing anything on that one this year or is that more of a project for next year? Yeah, we've decided to put that on hold just for a year. We, there's a lot of work to do on that. Um, and with the lakes being frozen, the weather's gone against us a little bit. So we're going to leave that till next year so we can do it properly and do it once. It's actually, it's full of fish. Uh, it can be fished. It has been fished uh, all year. So it's, it's, it's a nice lake as it is. So we're going to leave that till next year and then we'll sort it out where we want to. 